hi in this video I'm going to show you how to get out of the press to test mode that uh, is probably enabled sometimes on the TI Inspire calculator it's very simple uh, most of the times when you google you'll see that you either need another calculator or you need to be a, a teacher or so on but if you are just a student who just has one calculator this is how you do it um, Basically, I'm following the instructions. Um, there is this manual or guidebook that comes with the calculator. If you don't have it, you can just go to the link or Google for the guidebook for your calculator, and you'll see that on the page 15, it um, shows you how to remove or get out of the press to test mode. Um, so, as the steps stated here, uh, what you need is you need to have a folder that's named as press to test. In that folder, you need to create an empty file called exit test mode.tns. So, in this, what you need to do is just basically create an open a notepad and just save the file with this name and with this extension. Um, the main point to know is that the folder name and the file name is very is case sensitive, so it has to be exact match. Uh, the one other prerequisite before this is what you need is you need um, you need to install you need to install um, the software for it. So what you need to do is go to the website for Texas Instruments. You can select your calculator and then in here select the connectivity software. Click Find and um, based on your um, thing you just click on this computer link software here it's going to take you to this page where you have the option of downloading either for a Mac or a Windows it's very simple you just click this download it install and, um, and then once you install you'll see a UI that allows you to try installing this right now you can hit continue as guest So it's downloading right now. It takes about 15 seconds to download. And once it's downloaded, what you can do is you can um, just run the software. I'll try to see if I can share the screen with you on that. Um, and it's very simple. All you want to do is uh, transfer this file or this folder from your laptop to the computer or to the calculator. So it's just a drag and drop, and that should restart your calculator and I'll take you out of the press to test mode. So I do have it installed right now. I'm just going to go ahead and try to open this up and share the screen with you if I can. So yeah, pretty much that's uh, that's the steps. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me or comment on this video, and I can give you more detailed instructions. But when I did this, the main challenge for me was to know which um, what software to have on the laptop. So the main point here is that you should have the computer linked software, which you can such that you can link your computer with the calculator. Hope you enjoyed this video and um, this was helpful for you. Thanks.